Okay, Adam Scholl with Scholl Security Group here again. Uh, I want to do a quick video about the yoga block modification to an appendix inside the waistband holster. Um, this is a very popular modification. I don't know where it originated. I know Scott Jedlinski, a uh, Jedi of Modern Samurai Project, was one of the people that may have been at the forefront of this, um, but it's hard to tell. Uh, I do know that I've tried it and I do like it. Um, a lot of the wedges that are out there on the market um, are not specific to the end user. So when you take a holster, like for example, the Filster Spotlight, okay, this wedge here that's built into the Kydex, for me it happens to work pretty well. Um, so I haven't had to modify it any further. Um, but some of the other wedges that are integrated into the, into the holster, uh, like the Henry Holsters Flat Wedge, which I've actually mounted a Raven uh, rubber wedge onto this one, although you'll see there's Velcro underneath of there, and at times I was actually using a, uh, a yoga block wedge that I had created uh, here and basically just hollowed out to absorb the existing wedge and then put some Velcro on the inside so that I could attach it uh, over the top here like this. Um, the wedges that are out there, like I said, they, they sometimes they're integrated into the holster. Sometimes you'll find ones that stick on after the fact. Um, my experience with the stick on ones has been that they're generally not made out of a material that is um, resilient enough to last. So when I had the Spencer Keepers holster, uh, it comes with some neoprene wedges. And the problem I had with those wedges is they wore out very fast after about a month they were compressed to a point where they were no longer uh, serving the same purpose. There's several others out there. If they work for you, great. If they don't, uh, another option that's a very inexpensive and easy option is the yoga block modification. So you go to Walmart, you buy a yoga block, uh, or you get it online, it comes like this. It's usually a couple dollars, maybe five bucks tops. Uh, and then you're gonna take a knife and, and uh, open it up obviously, take a knife and cut into it and basically just cut into whatever you need. Um, I happen to like the, the edges of these to cut in on a downward angle so that I end up getting something, um, you know, here's another one that's already kind of hacked up a little bit. So I end up getting something that angles away from the body. So here is my, my tenacore holster, and the tenacore holster comes with an, an existing wedge. It's a very pronounced wedge, um, and for me, over time, this wedge started to create a little bit of a hot spot. Okay, so what I did is I hollowed out, I cut in an angular shape piece of yoga block, I sanded down the sides with a Dremel just to get rid of any rough edges that existed. Okay, and then what I did is I hollowed out the inside so that it would absorb the existing wedge and in effect neutralize the wedge. So now there's no longer that tenacore wedge and I've created my own wedge. Um, you'll notice that I've set it up so that it angles away from the body. Okay, so here, uh, if you look at the holster straight up and down, the, the, the yoga block is, is cut so that it actually tips the holster towards my body, which pushes the muzzle away pulls the butt of the gun towards my body and also aids in concealment. Okay, uh, The Tenacore one also was set up so that the grip tuck feature and the wedge worked in conjunction with each other. So it pulled it like this to lay it flat along your body. Um, I was, I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but I was able to cut the wedge on an angle such that it, it essentially replicated that. Um, so now I get the same uh, design that was intended for the Tenacore, uh, but for my body, you know, the, the existing wedge was just causing a little bit of problems, so um, I decided to throw something on there. So this is the one I'm using now. Uh, in the past, I used this one, which again is same idea, hollowed it out, cut it from the end of a yoga block, sanded it down, and then absorbed the existing wedge. Um, this one just didn't give me quite as much kick as I wanted. Um, so you can do it like this, where it's less kick and it's more just like a comfort thing. Uh, or you can do it where there's a, there's actually some kick there and you're kicking the muzzle away from your body or kicking and angling so that you're pulling the grip of the gun into the body uh, as I did here with this one. Um, the new Filster floodlight holster that does not have a wedge is actually probably set up even better because this surface right here is nice and flat. So all you need is some hook and loop Velcro. Uh, put the loop side on there, put the hook side on the yoga block after you've got it down to the appropriate size and shape that you want and then just attach it and you're good to go. Um, so my advice would be let it hang a little lower 
than you need it to. And the reason I like to do that is sometimes the edges of these holsters, depending on the orientation, can, can dig in. Um, this one not so much because it's a 34, Glock 34 length, it's a little bit longer, but some of the shorter holsters um, can sometimes catch you and dig in a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to let the yoga block extend just a little bit lower than I really need it to. Um, and that way it kind of it kind of catches the edge of the holster and affect uh, lines this and neutralizes that for me. Especially if you have a weapon mounted light, you may need to configure something that ends up coming around here. Um, and again, it's all depending on your personal preference. So some people might not need it at all. Um, but if you're the type of person that, you know, you want a little bit more comfort and your appendix carry and you're trying to figure it out and you've been through a thousand different holsters, um, I've got a bunch of appendix holsters. They're all good holsters. I've got Tenacores, Filsters, uh, Henry holsters, Spencer Keepers, j and Custom Kydex, uh, uh, Concealed Carry Concepts, and, and probably a few others that I've heard, Raven Eidolon, so on and so forth. They're all great holsters. Um, I like all of those holsters for different reasons. However, at the end of the day, what I've noticed is with my body type, I really need to make some customizations. So it's not uncommon for me to do things like uh, with the filster. I dremeled out some of this right in here, okay, because it allowed me to get a full firing grip and get real high in the back strap or the tang of my pistol. Um, with the Henry holster, again, I you know drilled into it and added a Raven wedge to it. Um, prior to that, I was using the yoga block down here um, with the tenacore I've, I've made a yoga block to make that wedge a little bit better for me um, with this floodlight so far i haven't had to do anything um, but you get the idea the point is get a yoga block uh, i recommend starting with the sides the the, the flat side is going to be a little bit too wide so you're going to do more cutting so the less cutting you can do the better start with something like this a side get a knife cut into it on a downward angle so you're cutting out like a triangular uh, portion if you want the kick, if you want the muzzle to kick away from your body. Uh, if that's not a big concern for me, you can cut flat down the middle. Play around with it. Um, you might have to round out some edges. Um, it might not be just a cut and stick type of thing. It might be, you know, cut it out, um, get some sanding paper or a Dremel and start to round out the edges so you end up with something like this. Um, I'm a big believer that any sharp edges on a holster in the appendix position will eventually find their way into a place that's not going to be comfortable for you. Again, depending on how you're built. That's been my experience. So um, I like to round out all the edges and therefore make things a little bit smoother and a little bit more comfortable. And also, the big thing for me is not just the comfort factor, but the ability to conceal. Um, I'm typically carrying a full-size Glock, um, sometimes with or without a weapon-mounted light, Surefire X300 Ultra. You know, so concealing all that up front can be a challenge, um, but if you get a good quality holster and you, you modify it to your body and your specifications, it uh, shouldn't be a problem. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, like us on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Shoal Security Group. You know, we put out a lot of content for uh, self-defense, combatives. Um, my background is in law enforcement, um, military contracting, private security, and I'm a black belt in Krav Maga and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I do a lot with combatives. I do a lot with integration of combatives with your firearm, with your edge weapons, uh, general security content, personal security content, things of that nature. So if any of that stuff interests you, please uh, give us a like and a follow. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Thanks, guys.